Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak any Amazon Fire Stick in just a few minutes. I'm also gonna show you how to gain access to an exclusive app store that offers applications not found in the Amazon App Store. These apps are gonna give you full access to all of your movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, pay-per-view, and much more absolutely free. If you wanna learn how you too can jailbreak your Fire Stick and gain access to this exclusive store, well just sit right there because I'm about to show you how to do all of it right now. All right, so you're excited and ready to jailbreak your Fire Stick. Let's not waste any time in this jump right into this. The first thing I want for you to do is slide all the way over to the end and that will take you into your settings. You'll see a little menu up here on the bottom half of your screen. What I want you to do is slide down here and we're gonna click on something called My Fire TV. All right, so right here you might notice that I have something called Developer Options. If for any reason that you don't have this already, I'm gonna show you how to get it. All you have to do is click right there where it says About, and then while you're highlighted on your device, simply click your center button on your remote several times. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you'll see a pop-up that says, congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that pop-up, then you can hit back, and now you will see the developer options available on your screen. Congratulations, guys, you have officially jailbroken your Fire Stick. I know, it's that easy, that's all that it takes is just a click of a few buttons, and now you have completely unlocked your Fire Stick and given the ability to go and access these exclusive app stores that I was just telling you about. All right, so let's go ahead and click the home button on the remote. Because the very first thing that I want to do is go to the Amazon app store and search for just one app. And the easiest way to search through the entire Amazon app store for just one app is simply slide left on your remote until you're on this magnifying glass. Then we're gonna push down and click our center button. It's then gonna bring up a keypad allowing us to type out whichever app in the app store it is that we would like to search for. But we also have the ability to just use the voice function on our remote, just like shown here. So what I would like for you to do is hold down that little voice button on your remote and speak directly into the remote and say, downloader. It'll then take you right to this bright orange app, right there. So now that you're on that orange app, just click your center button. Now we're gonna have the ability to download this on our device. All you do is click the center button one more time, the download process will begin. As soon as the download is finished, it's gonna go through the installation. And as soon as the installation is all wrapped up, it's going to say open. But I don't wanna open the app just yet. We're just waiting for it to say open, just like that. Now that we see that, what I would like for you to do is click the home button on our remote. Because just like before, we need to go and change one setting. So let's go ahead and slide all the way back into our settings. And remember where we were before, we're just gonna come down here and we're gonna click on My Fire TV. And now that our Fire Stick is officially jailbroken, we're gonna have access to developer options. So let's go ahead and open up developer options. The first thing that we're gonna see is ADB debugging. Just click your center button one time and you'll notice you turn it on. Then we're gonna slide down here, we're gonna click on install unknown apps and right here you see downloader is on the list. All you need to do is click the center button one time and make sure that you turn downloader on. All right, that's all the settings that we need to change. Let's go ahead and click the home button because the next thing that we need to do is go and find that brand new downloader app that we just installed. And the easiest way to find all of your applications is slide almost to the end to that icon and click on it. It's then gonna bring up every application you have installed on your device. The last application that you've installed always goes to the very bottom. So you just scroll down through all of your apps and you'll see that the very last app is Downloader. Let's go ahead and open that together. All right, so you might see a little pop-up. Just click your center button and that will disappear. All right guys, so welcome to the Downloader app. This application allows you to go along the internet to almost any website it is that you would like to visit. All you need to do is simply click that center button on your remote two times, once, twice. 
It'll then bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whichever web address it is that you would like to go to. Today, I want to take us to one website in particular. I'll throw the address on the screen as I spell it. All right, so now that you have that address entered correctly, just click right there where it says go. And now you'll see I have a little red circle on my screen. And if I push up and down and left and right, I can move that red circle around. What I would like for you to do is to just move the red circle down just a little bit. We're gonna go down and a little too far. What I'm looking for is this box right here. This says download APK Android. And we wanna just move that red circle and put it anywhere on that box and then hit our center button. When you do, the download process will begin automatically. As soon as the download is finished, all you need to do is slide over and click the word install. And as soon as the installation is finished, what I would like for you to do is click the word done. By clicking the word done, it brings us back here to this page where now we have the ability to delete this unnecessary installation file. So we're just gonna say delete, we're gonna say delete. All right guys, well that's everything that we need from the downloader app. Let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. Again, we need to go back into our settings and change just one setting. So just like the before, all we have to do is slide all the way to the end. The menu appears on the bottom half of our screen. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna click on My Fire TV. You're probably gonna be right back here. What I would like for you to do is click the back button and then again, we want to enter where it says install unknown apps. We're gonna click on that. And now unlinked has appeared on this list. Let's go ahead and click our center button and make sure that we turn unlinked on. Guys, both unlinked and downloader need to be turned on for this process to work. Now that both of those are turned on, let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. Because just like before, we need to go and find that brand new unlinked app that we just installed. The easiest way to find all of your apps is to slide almost to the end and click on that icon. Now, just like before, the newest app always goes to the bottom, scroll down to the bottom, and the very last app is the brand new app unlinked. Let's go ahead and open that together. Now right here, it's gonna say add a new library. Just click your center button. Click your center button one more time and a keypad will pop up, allowing you to enter the code to whichever library it is that you would like to visit. Guys, I have put together my very own personal app store with only the very best, most up-to-date applications available. I wanted to make sure that my viewers have only the best when it comes to their streaming needs. And the only thing I ask in return of all of my hard work of putting together the store, keeping the applications updated, creating this video, answering all of the comments, the only thing I ask in return is that you're kind enough to hit that subscribe button. That tells me thank you for all of the hard work that I put into giving away all of this absolutely free. Thank you so much to each and every person who has hit the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. So now that you are a subscriber, Let's go ahead and enter this code together. All right, so now that you have that code entered correctly, just click right there where it says next. And guys, welcome to my very own personal app store. I have put together only the very best applications for my viewers. And a lot of you always ask me, well, what's the best one for movies? Or what's the best one for TV shows or pay-per-view? Well, guys, I have put together my top five favorite applications on a list for you right here. Also, I want you to take just a second and read this little message about the importance of a VPN. We'll get into more of that later, but I wanna make sure that everybody has a chance to read everything it is on the screen first. Now that you've had a chance to read everything, what I would like for you to do is click the center button on your remote two, maybe three times. By clicking the center button on your remote a couple of times while entering my store, what it's gonna do is gonna break my store into different categories for you. 
You can then push up and down to go through the different categories and left and right to select the different applications. But I want to show you how my store works. Right now, I'm highlighted on BTV. If you read right here, it says BTV and it says use HB or NV player. Now, BTV is the app. It's kind of like a DVD, but it also requires a player like a DVD player. So you need the DVD to go into the DVD player so that then you can view the image. I know that's not exactly how it works, but I want to make sure I can simplify it enough so that everybody kind of sort of understands why you need an app and a player both together. So if you see the HB player, it says it's for BTV. And if you look at BTV, it says use this particular player. A lot of the applications in my store work that way, so I want to make sure that if you want to try out an app, that you make sure that you get the corresponding player that goes along with that app. So all you need to do is select any of the applications in my store that you want to download, simply highlight it, click your center button, and then a menu will appear asking if you would like to download this. Just click download, give your system a few seconds, and you'll see that how fast the download process is working. Right here, it moves along on your screen. Once it reaches 100%, it's going to ask for you to install the app. All you have to do is click Install App, slide over, click Install, and as soon as the installation is all finished, it's going to bump you right back into my store so that then you can continue to download even more apps. So now that we've gotten the BTV, we must get the corresponding player that goes along with it. So let's go ahead and click on that. We're going to download it. And when you see the pop up, just click install app, slide over, click install. And again, wait a few seconds and it's going to bump you right back into my store. We got a couple more apps that we're going to download and show you for today. So we've got the BTV. We got the player for the BTV. The next app I want to you guys to install is the IP Vanish VPN. It is by far my number one recommended application when it comes to keeping you guys 100% safe and secure while enjoying all of this entertainment. It also will bypass all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. So let's go ahead and select the IP Vanish VPN. We're going to hit download. And again, we're just going to wait for it to reach 100%. And now we just click install app, slide over and click install. And again, just like before, we're just going to give it a few seconds. It's going to bump us right back into the store and we got one more application that we're going to install today. So now that we got BTV that requires the HB player, we also got the HB player that's for BTV and we got the IP Vanish VPN keeping us 100% protected. I wanted to show you one more because this amazing app right here, it doesn't require a player. It has its own player built in. So you're going to see a different combination of applications in my store of applications that require a player and then other applications that don't require a player at all because the player is built into that app. So let's go ahead and click on on stream, click download. Again, we're just waiting for it to reach 100%. And guys, this is an amazing app. I highly recommend that you try it out. We're going to click install and we're going to click install. Now, a lot of the applications available in my store, what they'll do is they'll populate a bunch of different sources around the internet where you can view from. The great thing about OnStream is it doesn't do that. You simply click play and whatever you select will automatically start playing. There's no sources to choose from. So some people want to have all the sources. Some people just want it to play. I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys a little bit of variety here on this um, instructions on how my store works, why there is certain things. But guys, you're already in the store. There's over 40 different applications available for you to choose from. Please feel free to download as many of the applications as you would like. All of the applications are free to download and use. So please don't be shy. Download 10, 20, however many you would like to try out. Now that you've downloaded all of the apps that you want, what I would like for you to do is click the home button on your remote. Because just like before, I want to go show you where all of those apps are on your system. So let's go ahead and slide over. 
almost to the end and click on that icon. It brings up all of your apps. And just like you learned, all of your brand new apps always go to the bottom. Right here, you can see all of the brand new apps that we've downloaded today. So what I would like for you to do is slide over, select any of those apps. Then I would like for you to click those three dashes on your remote right next to the home button. When you click that button, it's gonna bring up a menu on the corner of your screen. Then you can push down and click on move to front. And it's gonna take the application from the very bottom of the list and it's gonna move it to the very top of the list. I wanna do that just a few more times. I wanna move this app, I'm gonna say three dashes, move to front. I'm gonna say three dashes, move to front. And one more, we're gonna do three dashes and move to front. So you can move these applications around anywhere that you like, but I wanna show you what moving them to the front or to this top bar actually does for your device. So let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. Right here from your home screen where you begin each and every time, you have easy access right back to those applications. This first app, that's unlinked, that's my store. So if you wanna go back and try out some new apps or get some updates to your existing apps, you're gonna have easy access right here from your home screen to do so. The next application is the IP Vanish VPN. Again, I told you already, this is by far my number one recommended application when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure. And before I ever open any of those other apps, I always make sure I turn my VPN on first. So let's go ahead and open up our VPN. So right here, it will ask you for a username and password. If for any reason that you don't already have a username and password with IP Vanish, don't worry, I'm gonna make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is log in to any internet browser that you typically use and go to this website right here. You can also take your camera out and, take, and point it at the QR code in the corner or you can just slide down into the description or the comment section below in this video. I'm gonna leave links down there for you also. It doesn't matter how you get there, all of the links are gonna take you to the IP Vanish website. From there, you're able to learn a lot more about the importance of a VPN and pick out whatever plan is gonna work best for you. Once you do, they're gonna email you a confirmation with your very own username and password to be able to log in. I'm gonna enter my information and I'll be right back. All right guys, so welcome to the IP Vanish VPN. It is by far my number one recommended application to keep you safe and secure, and also to bypass all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. Now, right here, all you have to do is simply click the center button one time. A little pop-up will come here. Just push down, push okay. Give your system just a few seconds and when you see the country light up in green, you know that you're connected and protected. You have a little timer here and it also says connected, letting you know that you are connected. So now that you are connected to the VPN, all you need to do is click the home button on your remote. The VPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you connected and protected the entire time while you go and enjoy those other applications that you downloaded from my store that give you all of the movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, pay-per-view, and much more absolutely free. I certainly hope that you enjoy those applications and all of the entertainment that it has to offer. But guys, if you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button. That tells me thank you for all of the hard work that I give all of this away to my viewers. And if you would like to, you're more than welcome to hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video, or you can give this video a thumbs up. But above all of that, I would love it if you were to share this video with a friend or a coworker or a neighbor so that they too can have all of this entertainment for free, just like you do. All right, guys, well, thank you again for spending your time with me today, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon in the next video.